Hey guys, my name is Ms. Arum and I'm here today to teach you a little bit about the introduction paragraph in your argumentative essay. Now once you've chosen your topic and identified three sources for your argument, one for your counter argument and two for your argument, you will begin the drafting process by writing your introduction paragraph. So let's take a look at what an argumentative introduction should look like. I've broken down the structure of an argumentative introduction for you into these three categories your hook, your context, and your thesis. When you're writing your introduction, you will begin with a sentence that gets the reader interested in your topic. To pique the reader's interest, you can begin with a quote, a personal story, a surprising statistic, or even an interesting question. For example, if you're arguing that smoking should be banned from all public places, you can start your introduction by referencing a statistic from a verified source, or even relating a short personal experience related to smoking and its effect on others. That's all for your hook. Next, you will transition into your context, which provides your reader with background information on your chosen topic and allows your reader to better understand the issue that you are presenting them. This information provides context and history that can be crucial to explaining and arguing your point. For example, if you are arguing that there should never be a military draft in the United States, your introduction and this context can include information about the history of the U.S. draft and the events that led to it being abolished. Next, after transitioning from your context, you will head right into your thesis. Your thesis is the essence of an argumentative essay. In a clear, single sentence, you will sum up what point you are trying to make. That stance right here on your topic. Your thesis statement should assert a position on a particular issue, one that the reader could potentially argue against. Therefore, the thesis cannot be a fact, but rather your overarching argument about the topic you chose. That's your stance. The rest of your essay will serve to explain and provide evidence in support of your thesis statement. A good introduction should not describe your argument or provide analysis that belongs in the body paragraphs. And while your introduction should introduce and set up your point, you will not lay out evidence to support it. That evidence is for your body paragraph. Also, while your intro is a roadmap for the rest of the essay, you shouldn't explicitly announce what and how you will be arguing. You should not use any sentence like, I am going to prove to you that. So let me make this super clear for you. You will not be using any I am or I think statements in your introduction. Those statements make your argument more confusing and add a level of personal connection to your essay that's just not appropriate for academic writing. Now we're going to take a look at some introduction examples here, but before we do that, I want to go over some guidelines for your introduction paragraph real quick. So first, your introduction should be five to six sentences, double spaced, and should follow the format I've laid out for you here. Remember, you begin with your hook, then flow into your context, and then drop your thesis at the very end of the paragraph. Make sure you are formatting your introduction paragraph correctly as well, which means 12-point font in Times New Roman with proper margins. Now, I'm going to show you some examples of argument introductions, and I want you to tell me if they are done well or if they are not done well. So take a minute and pause the video as I go through each of these examples, and when you see an example, read through it thoroughly. Then, decide if they followed the introduction format. Remember, hook, context, and thesis, and if they have appropriate MLA formatting, which means they're double-spaced, Times New Roman font, they're 12 point, and they have that indented first line right here. So let's take a look at example number one. You can pause the screen right here and read through.
Okay, now that you've finished looking at these examples, I hope that you have a better understanding of how your introduction paragraph should look. Remember, it's hook, context, and thesis, HCT. Here is another reminder for your introduction paragraph. You will need to include a proper MLA formatted heading for your paragraph when you turn it in. If you look at the picture here, you will see the student who wrote this introduction did that. They had their MLA formatted correctly. So see it has the student name first, then your teacher's name, then the subject that you're in, and finally the date, all in the upper left hand corner. The date has the day first, then the month, then the year. In the upper right hand corner you will see you also need to include your last name and the page number that you're on. On Google Classroom, you will find a template titled Argumentative Introduction Paragraph Template that will help you to write your introduction paragraph. Follow the instructions on the template and turn in your own introduction paragraph based on the topic you selected for your essay. Good luck!